Hi guys, it's Jen here doing my fifth in my lifted series. So I am lifting Missy Whitten here, who um, you may have seen around. I know that she's a design team member for several different places, including um, the Hip Kit Club. And um, she did this layout recently. I, I liked those um, thickers that I don't end up getting used. Um, she did this layout recently. It's a very similar type of layout. Um, hers was also about um, swimming. And I just liked, actually I think Christy picked this one. If I, let me back back up the train. Um, Christy picked this one and I liked it as well. And she used a whole bunch of um, different circles, all cut with the same size punch. I think my punch might be a little bit smaller than hers, but this is the largest size I have. And using a variety of papers with the blue background. Uh, I'm using my um, June Citrus Twist kit. And there happened to be this poolside paper in my background that is um, actually water. So I cut out a whole ton of me punching and fiddling around and all of that because um, it's just, it's not only is it really tedious to do, it's, it's pretty dang boring to watch. So I cut a whole bunch out. Um, so you'll see I was just a little bit choppy there, um, but I came back when I was doing the layers behind that photo. I was a bit stuck on my circles and so decided to come back and work on um, the layering here. So I've used that other piece of poolside paper that has sort of like the measurements that you would see on the side of a pool. And then these are um, Citrus Bliss cut apart sheet. And um, I'm using those as layers instead of as actual cards. And don't use that one there because it actually says the words on it don't make any sense and you would be able to read them. So I end up using three of those cards to layer in behind and I'm pretty sure Missy's has that as well and you'll see um, a photo of hers um, at the end and I'll also link up to her video and her YouTube channel for you as well. Um, let me think here. So I used Pick Frame to actually do those photos that I'm using, that little collage, and then I printed them out like that on my selfie and it's just my kids and a friend that I took them to the pool and I actually um, took the photos and had that collage all ready while I was sitting at the side of the pool which was awesome. So one of the things that Missy does a lot is she uses thread a lot and um, she puts it in behind layers and then on this one she did um, instead of just sort of like a messy bunch which I think is the way she calls it it looks really neat she actually did them in circles so I actually used the twine that our kits um, come wrapped up in. And I did them that way instead and used it to make three distinct areas where I'm gonna put some just really small embellishment clusters. And I'm actually gonna use my tiny attacher just to staple the top and to keep the loop together. And then I glue it down with some Tombow. It's really simple. And here I'm just working on adding um, some more embellishments. So I had an Evalicious cut apart sheet that I'm going to use one in each of the three areas with the twine. I put um, a poolside frame on the side of my photo collage and I'm going to back that with some grid paper and put my journaling there. I'm using a flare that came with the kit. Those are exclusive flares. And then we also got two um, little sets of tickets and I'm using the red ones in behind there to add a little bit more color. So here you'll see, I think this is where I'm using my tiny attacher. Sorry, I'm off camera. I'm using my tiny attacher and I'm just stapling right across where um, the top of them. Sorry, I need to cough. <coughs> Excuse me. Apologies. But if I uh, stop my, my voiceover sometimes, it really screws up my video and then it won't upload. So sorry for sharing my coughing. So here I'm working on doing my title. I end up instead of using those navy thickers that I, you know, um, thumbed up, thumbs up at the beginning, I realized that I had picked them navy because Missy had used all poolside or a lot of poolside had navy, whereas the papers that I'm using from my kit have a lot of Amy Tan stuff in it, and they're black, not navy, and the navy just didn't work. I actually, um, off camera, um, I had it turned off and I was having a look at it and it just wasn't working. 
Uh, so I ended up using these um, scripty words instead, and I think it looks pretty cool. And then I also used, this is a scrap, this isn't, wasn't in the kit, this was in last month's kit, also from the same line, and it was one of the um, three by four cards that had lines, and I just made it fit in behind that frame so that I could write my journaling. And it looked pretty good. So here I'm going around with some wood veneer stars on each cluster. As I said, I am using a cut apart from Evalicious on each spot. And I used um, some of the little um, X's, I think they're supposed to be maybe like a stitch, that are on the sheet of those scripty words as well. And uh, let me see here if there's anything else I can tell you about this layout. I did cut out, you can see my ink sitting there, I did ink around the edges of most of the circles, especially the really light colored ones, just to make them pop up a bit more and um, have a bit more definition. And I inked um, the layers in behind uh, my photo cluster, but I took, I edited that part out because uh, it's sort of like watching people take the backing off of foam squares. I just think I don't want to watch it so I edit it out as best I can um, when I do my own videos because I just think you don't need to you don't need to watch me ink up especially this many circles and you don't need to watch me most of the time take off a whole bunch of uh, foam square backings. It's kind of boring. So here, uh, I'm thinking, you can see me, and I'm going to just write something up there. You can see I didn't take off the backing. I believe I put the date up there, and then um, I was going to write on the green one down near the bottom there, and when I took my photos, I don't believe the writing's on there yet, but I did go back. Um, the other thing I'm going to do with this layout, so there I did a little clean up, didn't make you watch that. Um, these are Evalicious Puffy stickers. I'm putting one of those in each of the clusters as well and in the uh, photo cluster area. Um, the one thing I'm going to go back and do is I have some clear sort of iridescent shiny sequins coming that I ordered um, and they're not here yet and I'm going to actually sprinkle some of those around as well because I thought those would look really cool on this um, background and sort of mimic a bit how the light plays on water. But I still don't actually have these, and I did this layout uh, about a week and a half ago, or maybe a week ago. And um, so they're not in the photos, but this video needed to go up today, and um, so I couldn't wait any longer for those. Um, yeah, this video should have been done ages ago, and iMovie is really not loving me. Um, it's doing really funky things, and... Um, like, it'll bring in my video clips, and then I'll go back in later, and it shows that they're... Like they're just a big black question mark. Or um, when I go to put in my close-up photos, um, it just won't bring them up on my phone. But anyways, that's enough whining. <laughs> Here's your close-ups uh, of what I did. Oh, there, I did write it in Commonwealth Pool, which is where we were. Some close-ups of each of these little clusters. Um, wanted to say a big thank you to Missy for the inspiration and to Christy for picking this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye now.